Welcome back to See Caroline Vlog, <laughs> and we are here today with another snack surprise. This time it is Portugal, but we've lost a little leaf that tells you what everything is. So we're going in blind, really. We're gonna guess. So we have tomato and onion layers. We're not sure if tomato and basil or tomato and oregano, not onion. I think there's parsley in there as well, just a regular chip. Ah. Regular crisp. That's onion. Garlic, onion, isn't it? Yeah. They're more like paprika flavour. Yeah, that's kind of, that's what they taste like, paprika flavour. Or pizza, like paprika pizza. No, meat. pizzas are gonna be flavour generally. They're quite nice, I like them. I'd give them I'd give them a solid Eight out of ten. I give them a ten because I like crisps. Ten out of ten because I like crisps. Okay. Next up, we have super doradas, chorizo, batata fritas. I have a feeling I can't have these ones. If I remember rightly. No, you can't have these ones. These have meat in them, so these ones are all five point three percent chorizo. And these are a ridged chip. They smell. That. They smell, they smell like. I think I'd need to eat a few of them to really get the chorizo flavor because it's they're really, really they smell, bland. They smell barbecuey. Yeah, but they're just like, like mild barbecue. Distinctly lacking in flavor. Excuse the dog playing with his food behind. He's doing his mystery box as well. Next up is ham, hambon, and prosunto and ruffles. And we've checked these. I think how I can have them, just gonna have one. They taste much better than they smell. It's just smoke flavouring to make it. But again, have. not a very strong flavour. But they taste a lot better than they smell. Mm -hmm. Very subtle ham flavour. Just fine because I'm not a big fan of like ham or chicken flavour crisps. Okay, now we have pala pala. It's like Bombay mix with just the sticks, just potato sticks basically. Is it called pala pala? Yeah. Potato chips. I was boring as anything. They don't even taste salty. So there's, meant, there's meant to be salt on them. I like them. Okay. What do we have next? Should we go for these things? These things that are like falling. Bros de, de Mel. I have a feeling that frangipan. Japan. Mm, I don't know. Oh, these are cinnamony. 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 Huh? Yeah, You're gonna like them. There's cinnamon and sugar. Like a soft biscuit with cinnamon. Bit like, a bit like a snickerdoodle. Yes, it is a snickerdoodle. Mhm. Mm For a perfumed snickerdoodle. Mm. It's very perfumey. Okay. Next up is the Tartelettes Marango Strawberry. Not for me. Strawberry tart, right? Don't call me a tart. I didn't call you a strawberry. There's a little one. That's just Grandad talking to the puppy. He's got his food all over the place. These remind me of something. Oh. Jammy Dodgers? No. But um, yes, but no, this looks something else. I thought they looked like the, the outside of a fig and the inside of a Jammy Dodger. Yeah, I'm trying. Not a fig, but you know what I mean? Fig I know what you mean, but no. Not particularly. No. It, it looks like a 
fig roll, but it doesn't have the texture. Mm. Mm. I've got the next thing, really. Who knows? I've got to get the flavour of that, have I? That cinnamon thing's so perfumed. It really is. The cinnamon thing. It's still, mm. still, I can not still as, taste the flavour. Not as good as a snickerdoodle. No. Nougat. Nougat. Up next. Nougat. Nougat. But it's hard. Really hard. Is this nougat? nougat Feel how hard yeah, that is. Can you check if this one is vegetarian, please? It's peanut brittle, essentially. Not nougat. It's peanut brittle. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Just like Mr. Tom. But thicker. Mm -hmm. Thicker than Tom's. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thicker and harder than Tom's. I wouldn't say it's harder than Tom's. Oh, it definitely is. I've just given you it harder and thicker than Tom's is. Well, I don't think it's harder than Tom's. Mm. Hey, next up, milk chocolate almonds. Mm, that's alright. Mm, that's alright. Not any chocolate. Chocolate's very sweet. Hmm. And then it's very nutty. More nutty. Next up, we have chocolate negro. Dark chocolate with raisin, cinnamon, and apple. No, thank you. Just for you. Because of the raisin, mm -hmm. which is just a shriveled up grape. Mm -hmm. I don't like raisins, sultanas. They come in a little bag. Oh, I bet your dad will like them. And that powdery as well. Ooh. Nice. You know what it reminds me of? Can you remember when you were younger and you used to get the um, the box of chocolate bits? Nip, is it called nip bits or something? That's what it looks like. Nibs. Nibs, whatever they're called. No, nothing like them. There's a very, very subtle taste of cinnamon and then the apple hits you. They're quite nice. Okay. Chippy cow, which looks like a chocolate a bit of bread. It looks, it looks like a um, an eclair. Mhm. Mm there we go. Mmm. -hmm. I'm watching. We're being stared at. Hello, you. What's up next? Sortido Brillo gummies. For you, then. Vegetarian. Oh, how yeah. do we know? Because it says so on the back. Oh, well, there you go. Let's see if these are better than Haribo. You're getting a little shock. Baby I've got a, shock. Do, do, do. I've got a finger. That, that shock bit Baby off. It's a hammerhead shock. Mmm. Mmm. Fruity. Mmm. Very fruity. Mmm. A little bit. Five. Ten out of ten for them. Okay, next up we have pineapple chocolate. Oh, you love that. We'll find that woman. We will. So that's the bit of chocolate bar there. No thanks, you know I don't like pineapple. I can't taste any pineapple. I can now. But it's very, very subtle. The dog, can you take it to the toilet? <laughs> the dog, we need to toilet. We have more chocolate. 
This is what that chocolate bar looks like. But is this chocolate bar? Just more chocolate. With what though? It's got nuts or something. There's a nut in it or something. Some sort almond. of almond. Almond. Almond again. Five out of ten. Next up, Pintarolos. Which are milk chocolate beans. I'm gonna guess these are just smarties. No, the dog's not noisy, but he's out me for, for, for food. <clears throat> They're just smarties, really. Smarties have the answer. <coughs> They're just smarties. <coughs> Ice cream? Is it a chocolate bar? Is it? Help me. Is it a look what this is. It's a Regina. We've lost the thing, so we can't find out. What do you can? Oh! It's, it's on a stick. It's like a. It's on a stick. It's chocolate. It's just milk chocolate. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, a folded up umbrella. I'm going to get it in. It's like the bottom of a Cornetto. Yeah. But folded up umbrella. Cone. Very sweet that chocolate. Mm -hmm. Next up we have sugars. Which looks to me like opal fruits. Opal fruits? How old are you? Starburst. Starburst, opal fruit. How old am I? I'm 42. I'm a 42. 41. I'm 42 this year. What? You know my brain doesn't work like it used to. What colour would you like? Um, uh, oh, hold on. I don't think I can have awful fruits. They're not I mean, awful fruits. Sugars. They're, sugars. They're sugars. If it's the same stuff, it's got gelatin in them, I think. No. Starburst, they're just sugar. No, they're not. Hello, baby. I'm going to try a blue one. I'm guessing it's like blue raspberry flavour. Or banana. Like a blue raspberry. Lemonade type flavour. Basically, just less fruity. Star Wars. Yeah, I'm not having one just in case because I don't know. Okay. Have a Flocos de Neve instead. What's a Flocos? Oh, it's one of these sweets that you get when you're in the um, in restaurants, Sean. Just one of those restaurant sweets. Restaurant mint. It's not mint. Fruity. Hard outer shell, soft and chewy in the middle, and it's fruity. Mm. We also have Gorilla Chews, banana, tutti frutti, and passion fruit. Which one would you like? Tutti frutti? I go for banana. I'm trying to check and make sure without gelatin. I think these might be bubblegum. They are bubblegum. What British bubblegum do these remind you of? But they have like... What were the bubblegums you had as a kid that had the stick, the yeah. stickers? I have. That's what it reminds me of. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. It's exactly exactly what it is, Sean. Mhm. Mm because there's a tattoo. It's a tattoo. Mm -hmm. Anyone want a tattoo? Send us your address. We'll send it to you. <laughs> Mine's a little monkey. Mm. Just really, really rubbish. Disgusting. Bubblegum. We've got more. We've got more chewing gum in here as well. Okay. Two, uh, three more things to go. Fruit, chewy caramels. I feel like I've had these before. They look like something. Which one would you like? Strawberry? No, you're alright, I don't want one. Come on, one. Oh, it's in a little paper wrapper again. Mm. 
Mm. These are like the sweets that you get in the airport that you bring back yep. to give to your work colleagues. That's exactly what they are. I feel like I've had them. You haven't noticed again? Sorry, I need to take up the taste out of my mouth. I've got blue. You've heard that before. That's just cinnamon chewing gum. And cinnamon chewing gum, which we're not going to try. We do have a drink. I will be right back. I am back with the drink. It is small piña, which I'm guessing is pineapple again. I really like pineapple. I do like pineapple drinks, mm -hmm. but that one's not great. It's like from concentrated, it tastes like a bit like. I don't like pineapple at all, but I'll try. Mm. My favourite thing in the box then are probably these jellies. And yours are crisps. These? crisps. <laughs> That's our snack surprise box from Portugal. Look out for another snack surprise box coming, tasting coming in the future. We hope you've enjoyed this one and tell us what kind of snacks you would have liked to try from this box. I had to get my head around your tasting coming in the future there. It didn't sound right. Keep making memories. Catch you later.